Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see what are bacterial flagella. Bacterial flagella are air-like, unbranched, long helical appendages that protrude through the cell wall and are responsible for swimming motility. That is, flagella are the locomotory organelles of bacteria. All motile bacteria, except spirochetes, possesses one or more flagella. Their location on the cell varies depending on the bacterial species and may be polar, that is at one or both ends of the bacterium or lateral, lateral means along the sides of the bacterium. Each flagellum consists of three distinct parts, the filament, the hook, and the basal body. Filament, which is usually several times as long as the cell, is external to the cell and connected to the hook at the cell surface. The hook basal body portion is embedded in the cell envelope. Flagella are 3 to 20 micrometer long and 0 0.01 to 0 0.02 micrometer in diameter and terminate in a square tip. Flagellum grows at its tip rather than at the base. The chemical composition of the hook and filament are composed of protein subunits arranged in a helical fashion. Flagella are made up of a protein called flagellin. Next we are going to see the arrangement of flagella. The number and arrangement are characteristic of different genera of bacteria. Based on the arrangement of flagella, bacteria are classified into four groups. They are monotrichus, lophodrichus, amphitrichus and peritrichus. Monotrichus having one flagellum at one end of the bacterial cell. We know that Mono means one or single. Trichos meaning having a specified kind of air or air-like part. Amphitrichus having one or more flagella at both ends of the bacterial cell. The prefix amphi means both or on both sides. Lophotrichus having numerous flagella as a tuft at one or both ends of the bacterial cell. Here, low form means tuft. Peritrichus, flagella distributed all over the cell. The prefix peri meaning around. Some gram-negative bacteria have a sheath surrounding the flagellum. This sheath is continuous with the outer membrane of the gram-negative cell wall. Bacteria propel themselves by rotating their helical flagella. Bacteria having polar flagella swim in a back and forth fashion. Bacteria having lateral flagella swim in a more complicated manner. Flagella are only about 0.02 micrometer in thickness and ends beyond the limit of resolution of the light microscope. That is, we can't detect the presence of bacterial flagella using a light microscope, but can be seen under dark ground illumination and also can be visualized by special staining techniques in which their thickness is increased by using mordant or by electron microscopy. Due to the difficulty of demonstrating flagella directly, their presence is usually inferred by the motility of bacteria. Motility can be observed by noting the spreading type of growth on a semi-solid agar medium. Bacterial motility may range from the slow stately motion of peritrichate bacteria to the darting movement of polar flagellated vibrios. The cholera vibrio may move as fast as 200 micrometer per second. We should remember one important point here that is 
Though flagella of different genera of bacteria have the same chemical composition, they are antigenically different. Flagellar antigens induce specific antibodies in high titers. Flagellar antibodies are not protective but are useful in serodiagnosis. Finally, we are going to see endoflagella. Certain helical bacteria exhibit swimming modality, particularly in highly viscous media. Yet, they lack external flagella. However, they have flagella-like structures located within the cell, just beneath the outer cell envelope. These are called periplasmic flagella. They have also been termed axial fibrils or endoflagella. They are responsible for the modality of spirochetes. I am concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video. Thank you friends.